All right, Alex, thank you. If you live in the Park Circle area in North Charleston, be on the lookout. Police say a man exposed himself this morning around the Danny Jones Sports Complex. The woman who called police snapped pictures with her phone. It's a story you'll see only on ABC News 4. Our Caroline Balchunas is live tonight in North Charleston with details. Caroline? North Charleston police are increasing patrols around the Danny Jones Recreation Center. Uh, this move comes after a woman witnessed a man exposing himself while she was walking at the track. A disturbing case of deja vu. If it ever happened again, I'm taking pictures. This woman still shaken after what she saw during her morning walk. She says she comes to the Danny Jones track often. But this morning, she says a man waved at her, and when she got closer, she realized he was touching himself. For safety reasons, she did not want to show her face or reveal her name, but police confirmed her story. So I'm sure there was a look of shock on my face when he waved, and I was like, looked over because I thought it was kind of odd that he was waving again, and then I saw that he was waving with one hand, and the other hand was, you know. He's physically making sure that whoever sees him knows what he's doing. I mean, it's not like he's hiding it. She immediately reached for her phone and snapped these pictures. She says the man quickly walked away from her and drove off in a silver Chevrolet sedan. She didn't get a look at the license plate number, but she did call 911. And like after I talked to the police officer, I was like, I'm going to stay here and walk because he's not going to ruin my only time of the day to get any exercise. So yeah, I'm going to go back. Police described the suspect as a heavy set black male wearing a gray shirt, black shorts, and blue ball cap. The woman says she's seen him before. The same thing happened back in April. She believes it's the same man. He just smiles, which really makes me mad. You know, he's like, he thinks, I don't know what he thinks, but he's creepy. While it creeps her out, she says she doesn't feel threatened and adds she's not the only one with the same story. One of the ladies that walked real sweet with her daughter, she's a homeschooler, and I said, have you guys ever seen a weird, you know, I said, there was this guy and he was, and she said, yep, that happened one time when we were here. The Recreation Department says they are aware of the situation. Employees have been advised to report any suspicious activity to police and the public is asked to do the same. Reporting live in North Charleston, I'm Caroline Balchunas.